Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the rocket platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your SAN as well as data loss may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns throughout the replacement process, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Ecologic array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Ecologic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to launch the SAN Headquarters client. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left-hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on the particular group with the current issue. You will right-click on the group name and select Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing your Dell Ecologic via web browser, you will open your web browser and in the address bar either enter the host name of the SAN or the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Now that you are logged into the Ecologic Group Manager, you are going to need to identify the Ecologic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, we are going to select on the particular array that currently has an indicator marking. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You will need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Ecologic Array. Toward the right-hand side of this tab, you are going to see Identification Information of the Array. Be sure to click Start LED Flashing, and then make note of the service tag of your Dell Ecologic Array. You will need the service tag and any LED indication turned on for any service procedure in order to identify the faulty SAN with ease. If either of these methods do not work or the machine is inaccessible, contact us directly. When replacing a control module in a Dell Ecologic Array, you will need to first identify through the group manager which controller is currently failed and ensure it is either in the secondary state or the not installed state. For you to identify the failed control module, you will need to go under the controllers tab in the group manager. From the controllers tab, we can see the information regarding the controllers that are currently installed. The control modules be in one of three states, active, secondary, and not installed. The not installed state will only be shown if the controller cannot boot or is not currently installed. If the control module is in either the secondary or not installed state, then it is safe to proceed with replacing the faulty controller. Please skip to 3 minutes and 23 seconds. If the control module is in the active state, you will need to force it into the secondary state. During a period of low IOs or off hours, log into the group manager. Select a member with the faulty control module and navigate to the Maintenance tab. Under the Maintenance tab, select the option Restart. After selecting the option, you will be prompted to input the management password. Once the password has been accepted, the system will restart the active control module, causing the secondary control module to take the active role. You must now wait for the faulty control module to reboot and show in the secondary state within the Controllers tab. Now that you have identified which control module has failed and ensured it is ready for replacement, you will need to identify the positioning of the control module. Navigate to the Status tab. From the Status tab, we can see a graphical representation of the front of the array on the left-hand side of the page. Above this graphic, select the Rear View option. This will change the view of the graphic to the rear of the array, allowing you to identify the position of the failed control module. As you see here, the controller in slot 1 is in the bottom slot within the rear of the array. Using the LED indication we, you had turned on earlier, locate the array. The array should have every indication light on the machine flashing. Verify that this is a correct array using the service tag from the group manager. The service tag of the array should be located on a sticker in the rear of the machine by the controller slots. Once the array has been identified, we will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter back into the group manager and select the member with the failed control module. Open up the maintenance tab on the right hand side of this tab, select the option stop LEDs flashing. In the rear of the machine you will see the control modules. The faulty control module is in the secondary state now and will have a green light for the PWR and an amber light for the ACT. If the control module is in the not installed state, the controller will have a green light for the PWR and a red light for the ERR. The PWR light indicates whether or not the control module is receiving power. The ACCT light indicates whether the controller is in the active, green, or secondary, amber. 
The ERR light will light up red to indicate an error within the controller during the boot process. Confirm the control module with default matches what is seen in the Controllers tab in the Group Manager. Once you have located the faulty control module, label the network cables according to how they are currently oriented. After you have labeled your cables, remove them from the ports. You will see an orange tab with a black lever behind it. Push down on the orange tab and swing the lever outward. Once the lever has opened fully, you will be able to pull the control module straight back until the controller has been fully removed from the array. You must now move the SD card from the faulty controller to the replacement controller. In the rear of the controller, you will see the SD slot. Push in on the SD card, releasing it from the slot. Pinch on it and pull back until it is fully removed. On the rear of the replacement controller, insert the SD card until you hear a clicking sound. Once the card clicks in place, you are now safe to insert the replacement controller. Open the lever all the way on the replacement controller, then insert it into the slot. Once the controller is seated in around 90%, the lever on the control module will begin to catch. Once the lever begins to catch, push the lever inwards until you see or hear the orange tab click into place. Attempt to pull the controller backwards without releasing the locking mechanism. If the controller stays in its slot, then it is seated properly. If the controller moves around in the slot, you must reseat the controller. Attach the cables according to how you labeled them. Return to the group manager and confirm that the control module is now showing healthy. If the array is now back to a healthy status, you are safe to close this call out. If the control module fails to come back online or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the evolution in hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.